Okay, folks, storage here. With the actual storage. I think it's just great. This is going to be a fun little adventure. I'm going to do a quick video. It's Christmas Day, 2016. We're going to let me show you how to go from zero coins to 100,000 coins in under 20 minutes. No requirements. So all the free stuff flipped into 100,000 coins. So let's just get started. One of the things that usually happens around this time of year, specifically Christmas, is people either get new computers or um, you know something membership for the year for the coming year or whatever. And so we've got a lot of new players. We're here in uh, Berthorp. Come over to the uh, Magic Rune Shop. Grab all the free stuff you can get here as quickly as possible. You're going to need some lodestone uh, teleports. It's not a requirement. You can always run to the places. Berthorp is the place to start. Obviously, these are the lodestones that you can get in free to play. We're only going to need to be able to use. Well, we would like Falador, Draenor, Varric, Alcarid, Lumbridge. Uh, Port Serum and Taverly. Uh, you won't need to worry about the wildy one. Uh, but first and foremost, we'll, like I said, we'll go here, pick up the uh, free runes at the rune shop at in Berthorp, and then we're going to go to Aubrey's. And we're going to pick up the free stuff there. We're starting with zero coins. We're going to get to 100 grand, under 20 minutes. And I know it can be done because I've done it quite a bit. Last couple of times it's been about 116,000 each time. It took me about 15 minutes. Along the way, only for this first part, we're going to pick up everything that we can find that's free. So we'll pick up this pot. We'll come over here and we'll pick up some logs and uh, a leather armor um, body. And then we'll sell all that. And that'll give us enough money to buy some arrows from Lowe's. Archery shop, not Lowe's hardware. And then... We will go, let's see, here's the free stuff here from Aubrey. We're gonna come back later, we're gonna buy all of their, all the fire runes and all of the air runes, and then we're gonna flip those. Uh, air runes are selling like 21, 22 gold, point, gold, gold pieces each. You're buying for 17, it's not a huge profit, but it's enough of a profit to make a difference. But fire runes are selling at 70 uh, when you purchase them for 17. So it's, it's definitely doable. Uh, there's some free stuff here at Lowe's we're going to want to pick up as well. 30 uh, bronze arrows, short bow, shield bow. Shield bow can be sold to the uh, general store over here, which I'm going to do, for 24 coins. So that's pretty reasonable, good place to start. But we also want to we're gonna revisit this a little bit. We're going to come back and we are going to... Uh, we're going to buy some of these things, specifically the jugs here. These jugs, and I can buy all of these so I can just show you and get started on that as well. So I bought 10 of those for one uh, coin a piece, and they are worth 351 coins a piece. So you can see I can make 3,500 coins right off the bat, basically. I can sell them for that. Uh, if I fill these with water, they're worth more, but I'm not going to do that. It's going to take a little bit too much time to be filling jugs with water. Uh, so we spent our free, yeah we spent our first ten coins to make you know a couple grand and doesn't take this doesn't take very long. Come to the grand exchange. Oh, this is from last time. Uh, so we won't for, ignore this. Uh, there's a grand that we got from last time <laughs> from the wizard shop. That stuff's been sitting there for a while. Don't worry about that. Um, so got these for free. Got these for free. Um, 1500 there's 2500 already ignoring what I had in the, in the, uh, in the GE prior we're gonna sell everything here we'll pull that thousand out we just made from the other just flipping don't worry about the price just get it get it down there just to get you some coins this is remember this is all free so it doesn't matter let's see if we can sell it for 3500 yep so there is 3,500 profit right there. 3,510. They got our money back and then some, right? So we started off pretty good. Let's get this pot. Pots usually aren't worth very much. You can sell them for like two coins and they'll sell. Not, it won't. Probably won't sell instantly. No, oh, it did. I'm not gonna worry about pots later. I'm just gonna do the, the cheap and easy quick stuff. We do short bow. Usually sells for something. So we have. Apart from that thousand coins that I had from the last time I, I ran this, 
Uh, we have about 7,000 coins. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, get us back to really where we are. And then, uh, and then we'll move forward. Okay, seven grand. Now, let's go to Lowe's. Not the hardware store. The bow store. And we're going to buy um, bronze bolts and bronze arrows. I don't think we have enough to buy the iron arrows. Those, can, those are flippable as well. We need quite a bit of money to buy everything. Nope, nope, not going to the general store. But we are going to do that in a little bit. Um, let's just start off here and get as much money as we can from the... There will still be some free stuff here. He, he'll, he will have regenerated a few of the arrows. Alright, buy the bronze arrows, buy all of the bronze bolts, and then we're going to buy iron arrows. <clears throat> we're just going to go flip these. Remember we had 7,000, 70, some hundred coins. And what are we? Six minutes in and you already have 7,000. The big push is the uh, 900 air and 900 fire runes that we'll have. And once we flip those, we'll be in the 80s. And then we can just do the general store stuff pretty quick. Zero to 100,000. Like nothing ever happened. Okay, so we sell... Remember, we sell pretty well. I actually think that we go for 11 coins. Come through five grand. These used to sell in the 40s. They are not there anymore, which is quite disappointing. There's six grand. That's pretty good. These are iron arrows. We're going to drop these. And 2,200. We now have 15,000 coins. Uh, what should we do next? I say... Book back over to Aubrey's here. Uh, actually, let's go to the general store first because I do want to talk about the things we're going to buy from there. And and they replenish very quickly, so you can literally flip from the general store uh, every twenty to you know, forty-five minutes or so. I think these two or three of those things will be yeah, four here. Great. Only problem is you got to go to a bank. Anything that holds water is worth quite a bit of money. So uh, bowls filled with water worth more than uh, the four coins you're going to pay for them, and then buckets as well. Tinder boxes, inexpensive, so we flip those, and same goes with cake tins, because the cake tins have a pretty good value. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, cake tin is coming in at 57, and tinder box is coming in at 199 coins. You can get a free one, free tinder box, from the um, Lumbridge General Store. Okay. Now we're moving on. So the leather body. And we'll note that. We'll grab all those things that are noted later. And let's get down to Aubrey's here and start uh, making some real money. Because once you sell those runes, you're in the money. Alright, let's go here, Mr. Aubrey. And you got some free stuff, so we'll take that. Take that take all these and we will take all of these uh, water water runes sell for 12 to 14 coins each so not worth buying earth runes about the same mind runes sell for 17 to 18 coins so right now it just wouldn't be worth picking them up so don't bother with that uh, we have enough to get back to the grand exchange and flip this that's the first one then we're gonna go back to Burthorpe. we're gonna pick everything up at Burthorpe. but we're also gonna go Back to Lowe's real quick and pick up everything that's free here. And flip that as well. Right. Free, 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 not free, not free. Done. Uh, I suppose you could you, know, you can buy the bows and so forth if they have a good margin. There's, there aren't enough of them to really uh, turn a huge profit. But it's okay. Uh, get what you can get while you can. Uh, these are going to be the big winners. The fire runes are going to make, make us the most amount of money quickly. And since we'll be able to gather 900 of them, let's do what we can now. Leather body is sold. So, what are these selling for? Yeah, okay. Not bad. Air runes, we don't make a huge profit on air runes. Three coins a piece, roughly. But we can take it. It's money in the bank. 
getting rid of the bronze. Remember, this is all the free stuff. Only free stuff. Let's see if this sells for 150 coins. What did I have the other one in at? 143? Oh, duh. See? Bad, bad storage. Alright, let's get... Oh, don't worry about... 25? If you can make a coin over the general store? Yeah. There we go. Not bad. Let's sell these. Uh, wow, it's come up a little bit, so I'll bet these... We make 26,000 here. 23,7. Oh, there you go. There's your profit. I'm going to do all of these, and we're going to sell them at 100 coins a piece. Should be pretty good. Doesn't sell, it's okay. Not a big deal. Okay, so there you have that. We have 37,000 coins. That's super fast. Let's go uh, quickly to Berthorpe. Pick up, uh, pick up all the fire runes there. And then I don't think we'll have quite enough to go to the... Um, Port Serum store, pick up everything there. We're gonna have to come back and do the basic stuff. Again, we'll have to do one more flip. As you can see, we're only uh, 11 minutes in and we have well, quite a bit. And look at this nice and replenished supply. 500, 500. Ah, we can go. Let's just do this. Let's go to Port Serum. If you have these lodestone teleports, it's going to speed things up for you. I promise. But you don't have to do them. Um, just just to get your first 100,000 coins. Do the best you can. Certainly a free apron in here. We'll get this for a quest later. Let's pick it up. I don't know what this is worth, but... Free apron. Free apron is worth 365 coins. And it's still there. So we can get another one. I don't know. There's money in the bank, right? Super fast. Alright, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna trade with Betty. Betty's gonna say, hey, take all of this stuff, please. We're gonna buy all the wizard hats. That's definitely you could buy the uh, Eye of Newt. They trade for like 20 coins a piece, 18 coins, something like that. But they're not noted when they come out of the uh, the shop, so you would have to walk over to the bank that's over here. So don't worry about doing that. Just shoot back to uh, the old Varric. And uh, home telly back there to the Lord's study. We'll run to the Grand Exchange. And this will pretty much... I think this will get to 80. 80 something thousand. And the trick is, go to the general stores. Buy all the jugs. Take tins. Buckets. Things of that nature. That you can buy for you know, one to four coins a piece and, and flip for 40. Um, that'll get you there pretty quickly. We're at 13 minutes, so not too bad. Trying to do this in under 20. Make some money. It is Christmas after all, and gift giving time. Jagus is giving us free coins simply by putting them in the. Within our reach. Okay, quickly there. Let's get rid of the stuff that we know is going to sell reasonably. And then we'll look at how much we have. Errors. We're going in at like 22. Nice. Good price. Good loot. 7 0. 46,000 there. I don't know what this is going to sell for. I'm guessing a little over to nothing there. Know these sell pretty quickly. Let's get these in at like 150. Or 410. Whoa. Is that real? That's great. Is that right? All of them. 410. There's three grand. Remember, you saw this at the beginning of the video. These weren't selling well. Uh, if they sell for 110, that'd be great. And they did. So, if. What are we at? 86,000. Just that fast. So the next step will be, uh, let's go to Lumbridge. I'll show you this, and then I'm going to consolidate. And, uh, actually, just go and pick up from all the general stores all the things that I can get. Put them in the bank, note them, and then we'll finish up. I'll show you the last, that 100 grand that you can. Last steps to getting 100 grand. Okay. So, general store here. Always things you can flip no matter where. 
I'm gonna talk to the shop assistant. I'm gonna take all the free stuff. I'm not gonna worry about this bronze dagger. Uh, it's it's not really of any value to me at this point. Uh, I'll come back here and we'll, we'll swap, and then we'll note everything. I'm not going to pick up the bowls. They took a long time to sell last time, so I'm not very pleased with that. I think the buckets will sell quickly. Uh, I know shears sell pretty well, but I'm not going to worry about those. And let's do one last run in the store. So this is an easy one because it's right next to a bank. Saves you a ton of time. Nothing more free there. Buckets, yes. We'll take this. We'll take that. I'm not going to worry about anything else. These are the things you'll need to collect. Go to all the stores, Varric. Um, we've done the Lumbridge one. Definitely Falador. And then you'll want to do um, Algorid and the Birthorp stores. And that should get us about 50 of each. So then we'll uh, be ready to kick it. And make our okay, we're back at the Grand Exchange. Got about 50 some of each. About 50 jugs, 64 tinder boxes, and 59 cake tins. Oh, let's sell these guys. None of this stuff sold over here. Alright, 351 with. Didn't they sell for 351 last time? There's 20 grand. Let's see, I don't. <clears throat> Tender boxes sold 100 and some. There's 19,000. Okay, Tins. Let's finish this up. And we are done with 3 grand. Uh, 60 minutes, all 17 minutes, 129,000. There you go. 200k, under 20 minutes. 17 minutes to be exact. Merry Christmas. See you soon.